brothers and sisters, Happy Easter, Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy Easter. <laughs> Bishop George and brother priests from many parishes, see, today is a busy day. How loved you are by your priests. I, I'm sure many would have come. Your, your shepherds would have come. Kung libre yun sila. But yet, today, this Sunday, daghan ang mga pari uban ka nato. That shows, as I said uh, a moment ago, how they appreciate you, how they love you in our parishes. I, I, I myself would tell you my joy, my appreciation, if I may say my pride, uh, knowing that the, the, the divine mercy apostolate in our local church of Davao is very much widespread. There are many of you, I think, more than you are in the cathedral. So, Sadakong Kalipay, welcome to this special Mass today uh, as we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday. You know, I really appreciate, come to think of it, ang inyong leadership, sila si Ma'am Juji, uh, scheduling the Mass at 3 o'clock, the time that usually we have the Three o'clock prayer. Well, this is better than three o'clock prayer. Huh? The mass is, of course, well, they must scandalize. No? The mass is the most perfect three o'clock prayer. Mahimo. So praise the Lord. Huh? Uh, 2 30 minutes, it changed at three o'clock. So, trademark, we, we gather together at three o'clock, remembering the time that the Lord in the mercy of God offered to us his life in death gipildi ang kamatayon unya on the third day he rose again from the dead you see my dear friends before very recent lang in terms of history of the church very recent nga gitawag kini og divine mercy sunday proclaimed by rightly so beautiful by now St. John Paul II. But ang iyang dugay kayong ngalan, this is the second Sunday, the octave of Easter. Ah, octave of Easter ang designation ko. Second Sunday of Easter is the octave of Easter. Ikawalo nga adlaw. Therefore, meaning Divine Mercy Sunday, the strong reference it's not really today, nice and fiesta, but the fiesta today urges us to look back a week ago. Thursday evening, Good Friday, Black Saturday, and the joyous day of Easter, starting Easter Vigil Saturday, and the resurrection sa Easter Sunday. Even the prayer today tells us, the beautiful, joyful, looking back. We thank God for what? Not only an idea of divine mercy, but mercy of God indeed. Action ba? Action. Katong hitabo sa pagantos, kamatayon, paglansa sa krus, kamatayon ni Jesus, o iyang pagkabanhaw. That's why ang opening prayer says, God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence, kanamang balik balik recurrence, yearly remembering, recurrence of the Paschal Feast. Paschal Feast. Translation, the, the, the feast of his passion, of his, uh, of his crucifixion, his death, and his glorious resurrection. That is the very foundation of divine mercy. So today, even the prayer, look back, malipayong tanag sa orog because of an event. Event, hitabo, experience, lagi, ang kitawag Pascal Mystery, balik-balik na ko. What is Pascal Mystery, Pascal Feast? The prayerful reliving in prayer, in worship, in liturgy, of, of the passion, 
death and resurrection of Jesus. That is the translation of divine mercy. Why? Why is it that magpalik-palik, importante pa kayo? It can be without the adjective divine. It could be mercy. But this is divine mercy. Make no mistake. Oh, we can say, he is merciful. She is merciful. But look at divine mercy. The mercy of God, which balik-balik, kada tuig, o kada simana, kada three o'clock prayer, we are always in awe. Why St. Paul told us, he saved us, gave us the grace of life, even when we're kai ulo pa, even if totally we were sinful, walang pag-asa, not a bit of pag-asa, no reason at all to take a glance of us, hopeless. Look, Holy Thursday evening, when Jesus was his disciples, first mass, Last Supper, First Mass. Look at divine mercy. The heart of Jesus when he was saying, this bread is my flesh. I'm giving you myself. This wine is my blood. Yet, Judas was there. Judas was there. Who was planning already to sell Jesus. Peter was there. A few minutes from there, but Peter denied Jesus not only once but three times. Soon, pag dakop ka Jesus, silang tanan na nagan. Except according to the gospel, Saint John slowly coming back with Mary, but all, but all of them ran away. That is divine mercy. Binuan ko, ako pa ginoo, dugay na magbiyaan ako, mga dagway ninyo ay, ha? Oh. Dili kita, sukat na sa una. But that's why we, just, we are just touched because balik na St. Paul, even we were worthless, not worth a glance. Jesus, the Son of God, gave himself totally for us. That is the divine mercy. Mercy, it can be matun ni Jesus. Kung tabangan ni mo yung amigo, kailan ni mo, ingon si Jesus, even pagans do that. Pagans do that. Pero mo tabang ka, you are merciful to those who won't even say thank you to you. Those who can repay you. Those who will be again a failure perhaps, not worth giving. But you do that, that is divine mercy, the love of God. So that is what we are celebrating today, looking back at the, at the epics, the pinnacle, the complete expression of the mercy of God in His Son Jesus, death and resurrection. Guaranteed. If we cling, we allow divine mercy to come to us. Guaranteed. Because Jesus has opened the way for us. And that is the tatak sa divine mercy apostolate. Always giving. Not counting any thank you. Not recognition, but salamat sa Diyos that you are in the Archives of Davao and in many parishes. Last Good Friday in the cathedral, I was really touched. Sila Ma'am Joji, si Ma'am Sitar, Diri, nakayelo sila. They were just at the side chanting. What a beautiful sight, a beautiful sound. Chanting the chaplet here where people were lining up to benefit the cross. The cross. Jesus hanging on the cross. The rays in the image. Blood and water. 
Because again, divine mercy can simply be... What is divine mercy? Pamaranungi ang Bene Santo. Sabado Santo. O pagkabanaw. Because the mercy of God has power. Not only the sacrifice, or pili, sacrifice. No. It is divine mercy which is victorious because if you follow that lisod nga dalan sa mercy, we are also assured of victory in the resurrection of Jesus. So today, allow me to continue three things that we can get from the scriptures. From the scriptures. Kung pasudlon na to, let it sink in to capture our minds and hearts. This devotion to divine mercy as I have tried to articulate, anchored on the reality of God giving His Son in His passion, death, and res resurrection. What are the indicators that nakadulot yun, nakaangkor yun, ang spirit sa divine mercy nato? First, <laughs> I think ang first reading from the Acts of the Apostles would tell us something more indicator that we are people of God's mercy and compassion, that we are people touched by divine mercy. First indicator, makakateling banon. Ang tinood nga devotee sa divine mercy, ang tatak, ang dating, makakateling banon. Here, they, plural lang eh, they, they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles. Teaching of the apostles. Ang atong roots, ang atong guarantee. We study a bit. We are formed sessions to know that our Roman Catholic faith is not just an explanation of values, of John Paul II, nice, Pope Francis, Pope, Holy Apostolic Church. Gets ninyo? Oh. So, ang karakter na to nga, mugunit, mukling sa divine mercy, ha, ah, katiling ba nun, nga katawan, nga kanunay aware sa teachings of the apostles. Apostolic Church. Kaya ba lo ko, ita bright na na, pusa, kung doon ay mga teachings nga lain, <laughs> kulang mo, kulang, kalma lang. Ha? Because we are a people who are imbued with the teachings of the apostles. Our katiling ba, they, kita, ourselves, are bound by the teachings of the apostles. Katiling ba nun, gingon diri? Because they live a katiling ba nun kinabuhi. Sharing na explanation. Maglingi-lingi sila, kinsay na makulang communal life. Sinudal. Balik ba? Sinudal. Walay maiwan. Dungan yun. Walay luoy. Sinudal. Unya sharing resources. Stewardship. Si mong kadungog niya na. Aha! One mind. One teaching. Katiling ba nun? In that one kasayuran sa atong faith, apostolic. One mind and heart tungod kay di man mamiya o kaoban katiling ba nun unya katulo katiling ba nun in their prayer and breaking of bread Holy Eucharist since the beginning those people atong ancestors of faith nga nakatilaw sa divine mercy katiling ba nun ang tatak nila JKK ang ilang tatak ha uy Nakaabit ko makalimot. Kondonay, Divine Mercy member. Pero ay papakbana sa BEC, JKK. Kulang sa katilingban. 
buwan hindi ni, pero di mapagabana sa inyong gabay, nga di kiki. Ah, 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 oh. Huwag na yung mga lecture, nga session, nga, I mean, to form us in the teachings of the apostles. No? Kulang. No? Katiling ba nun? Ikaduha nga indicator, my dear friends. Ha? Katiling ba nun? Ikaduha. Ang katawhan, pilatan niya na since the beginning, nga touch by the mercy of God. Kitang kita nila ang mercy of God. St. Peter in his letter said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in His great mercy, oh, in His great mercy, gave us a new birth, new birth, a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. And key word, St. Mine is St. Peter, ang katawan nga nagets nila ang Paschal Mystery, nagets na kuha nila ang mensahe, ang realidad, ang katinood sa Divine Mercy, isug, ligun sa ilang paglaom. Living hope. Katiling ba nun? Ikaduha, malaumon, puno sa paglaom. Why is this important, my dear friends? Because today, sige pa ang Good Friday. Sige ta nagpasaan sa cross. Sa ta mga paagi. Sa tinood lang, ngit-ngit kaya po na ang dalan sa kinabuhi. Usahay, manimbata ang wali sa pari. Wow! Muna buhi kay ta. Pag uli na to. Napamalitay utang nga bukas, baka bayri. Oh. Yan na ba tuition sa mga bata? Unya mahal para liton. Balik ka sa Bili Santo. Unya, kung mauna ang atong kahimtang sa balay, sa actual daily life, mukibra ba ang atong trust on the mercy of God? Kung doon ay mga pilsopo na itong mga silingan, babay lalaki mingon, ah! Simba, simba. Ay, gira na muli na. Kanyang katakanta ninyo nga, kuan. Wa mana, di ba namang kada sa kaldero? No. Madala ba kita? Ang atong paglaom, mauyog ba? St. Peter tell us today, people who have been, who had experienced the mercy of God, not only kateling banon, but also super ligon sa ilang paglaom. Malaumon. Bisa pa sa kalisod sa kinabuhi. Ikatulo, my dear friends, as we gather today on this beautiful feast, the Sunday of the octave of Easter, we call Divine Mercy Sunday. Ikatulo from St. John. Ha? Balik sa atas sa St. John. Ikatulo, ha? Ang first part sa Gospel reading today is evening of the first day. Mona, basa din na. But second part, seven days later, or other translation, eight days later, uh, the part, octave, <laughs> napakita, two times napakita si Jesus, sa Gospel reading, Easter Sunday, and eight days later, may balik siya. But the same first papakita, uksikan papakita, ang isyo, kinsama ni siya. No doubt, may lusot sa bumbong. Kay different ang bull game, he is the risen Christ. But yet, my dear friends, ang tatak sa divine mercy, which are the tatak of Bene Santo, ang samad sa iyong kamot ug samad sa iyong kilid. Unya kining divine mercy, Jesus Himself breathed on them and gave them peace. Okay, but very striking, He continues, "You have peace, but you can only have peace if you are merciful. Forgive one another." Ah, 
Third tatak. Una, katiling banun. Ikadua, mala umun. Ikatulo, ang tatak, kita usab, katiling ban na maluloy un. Puno sa Diyos nung kaluoy. In short, my dear friends, it is in the gospel. Jesus tells us, kung nakadawat kita, nang katilaw kita, nang kasinati kita, natando kita, sa Diyos nung nakaluoy, then in turn, kada misa, ingon siya, do this in memory of me. Therefore, no escape. Kita ng mga devotees, Ha? sincere sa divine mercy are also challenged to be mga katawan sa kaluoy alam sa uban katiling ba nun malaumun o maluluyun these three my dear friends easy to, dis- to describe but on our own, zero gihapunta. <coughs> that is why, again and again, in unang open prayer, in this ever repeated recurrence of the Paschal Feast, which is divine mercy, we come again and again to the Lord, who is mercy himself. It is only by his grace by His divine mercy, that we in turn can give mercy to one another. But I said mercy, but tapat unta can give divine mercy to others. Kay lagi ang akong tentasyon kung mercy po ta sa ito mga kaila, makathank you na ito gamay, ingon ni Jesus, Uy, ang mga pagano tigbuhat man ana. Ang dakong challenge, kung merciful kita, Diyos nung kaluoy, alang in tao niya itong dili makabalos na ito. Dili makathank you na ito. O sa'y dauton pa kita. And that is divine mercy. Which the world until today greatly needs. Kita takadabaw greatly needs. That's why in the end, malipayon ka ko. Kay kamo mga members sa Divine Mercy Apostolate will always be a beautiful reminder na to. The challenge nga. Ato yung tinudon, kining Diyos nung kaluoy, Divine Mercy into our hearts, into our minds, so that in turn, kita po, in our midst, makahatag, makapabati, makatunol sa Divine Mercy sa atong mga silingan.